Uh, Chappie, that's been a really good effort today by the lads, bowling UA out for 184. How, how do you reflect on it? Well, I think if we're really honest, our aim was to, to win the game. Um, it was a challenging day, first time out yesterday, uh, against a good team. Um, it's a bit in the pitch. And, you know, I think we were probably a little bit rusty in terms of how clinical we were. Um, but our target today was to make sure that we competed and, and had a name to win the game. And our first, first run out full day in the field for the lads in this heat, I thought it was exceptional effort and the spirit the lads showed um, in what could be taken as a friendly uh, was, was great and it it's showed us um, how we want to play our cricket. Just looking back to yesterday, it was obviously a hard wicket to score on, but Luke Proctor, he was really, kind of really impressed, kind of building in, built in innings, didn't he? Yeah, you have to dig in. It's it's not it, there wasn't much pace off the pitch, um, and you don't always get full value for your shots. So there's periods where you don't score, and you've just got to, uh, just got to take that in and be patient and look for ways to score. And Luke did that really well. Um, I thought Danny Lamb played really well first game on tour for us, um, and Stephen Parry at the end all all battled well. In between that, we probably played a few shots that we weren't as happy with. Um, and the lads spoke about that and set up some plans for today. Um, and I think today, the way the, the way the bowlers set about the task was, was great. And obviously today, John Clark took five wickets. How impressed were you with him? Yeah, very. He's bowled well since we've been out here. He's obviously spent the winter in Australia. Um, and he's in good form. And I think he's he's moved on a bit from, from where he was last year. He's very strong, uh, bowls with enough pace. But today, you know, he kept going really well, stuck to his plans, held his lines, um, and he was a handful, and he got his rewards, and, um, you know, he should be pleased with it. I suppose the challenge for him now is to do that on a more consistent uh, basis in, with the Red Bull. Yeah, it's a, for the young squad that we have. We've got real talent in there, and a good, hard-working ethic, and um, players are improving, and performances like that um, are really good for you. you can, you realise you can do it and then you go back to practice and you make sure you consolidate your skills and and uh, yeah, I mean hopefully you'll, you'll see that as a stepping stone to to carry on getting better. How important are these two day games against obviously firstly UA and next week against Yorkshire kind of in the build up to the new season? Well I think the importance for me is that we get used to playing a certain way um, and we understand what it takes to, to be successful and to play as a team. Um, ultimately it's a pre-season and it's about getting ready to go back home and then compete. Um, it is great to win games um, but it's about how you play and how you go about winning games and that's that's what we're here to do. And finally the, the first few days here have been all Red Bull stuff. The emphasis now moves to White Bull and particularly T20. How much are the group looking forward to getting stuck into that? I'm sure they are. They're, you know, The modern player loves working in, with White Bull and practicing their skills and hitting some boundaries, so they'll be looking forward to that um, change of emphasis and looking forward to the tournament. Hopefully there'll be a lot of people here and it'll be a, a bigger atmosphere, so the next few days should be exciting.